Navigating Blackboard Learn. This video will help you prepare to use Blackboard Learn and work with the My Blackboard tab. You'll learn a number of different troubleshooting tips and pr be provided with an overview of various browsers and pop-up blockers. You'll learn a number of course navigation tips, be provided with an overview of various help resources, and learn how to manage your email and notifications. Preparing to use Blackboard Learn. Begin by logging into my.comnet.edu. Next, I'll enter my net ID and password. Once I've entered this information, I click the Login button. Once I'm inside the My Comnet portal, I just have to click the Blackboard Learn link. When you first enter Blackboard Learn, you'll be on the My Blackboard Learn page. Here you'll see a number of different boxes called modules, which each display different types of information. In the My Courses module, you'll find links to each of the courses in which you're enrolled. Do take note of other types of resources that are available here, such as text support, links to on-demand tutorials, and information about the Blackboard Learn Student Orientation course. Every student is enrolled into this course, and it can help them succeed in an online learning environment. To enter your actual course and access the materials, be sure to click on the link for the course title in the My Courses list. Do not click links that are listed under Announcements or Calendars, as this will not enable you to access the course materials. Click on the actual course link. Here are a few quick tips to help you avoid problems while working in Blackboard Learn. Once you have opened the Blackboard Learn window, we suggest that you log out of My Comnet so you won't see the timeout messages. Please note that timeouts can interfere when your students take an online test. If you're presented with a security warning like this one, be sure to always click the Run button. Never just cancel out of it. There can be some differences in the way you view a course depending upon the web browser you're using, the version of the browser, and your own personal browser settings. Before you begin working with Blackboard Learn, don't forget to turn off the pop-up blockers in your web browsers. I'll show you how to do that in Internet Explorer and Firefox. In Internet Explorer, just go to Tools and select Pop-up Blocker and then Turn Off Pop-up Blocker. In Firefox, go to Tools, Options, and then deselect Block Pop-up Windows. Here are some helpful navigation tips. Let's begin with a general tour of the Blackboard Learn interface. If you look up at the very top, you'll see your username listed, and then a link to My Places. Here's where you can change a variety of different settings in Blackboard Learn. The Home link, and then a link to various help resources, and of course, the Logout link. You will also see a My Blackboard tab and the Content Collection tab. Those are the only tabs that you'll see in your role as instructor. Now, when you first enter your course, most likely you'll begin by seeing the Announcements tool. I say most likely because, of course, there are all different options for Blackboard Learn courses, and these can be adjusted depending upon people's preferences. Most faculty will find that they're using a course based on their local college template, and the college templates have been set to land by default on the Announcements tool. When you first come into your class, you'll also most likely see a standardized announcement. In the videos that follow, I will show you how to customize this announcement. On the left-hand frame, you'll see your course menu. These are all the various buttons that allow you and your students to navigate to various instructional content and activities in your class. Depending upon your college's template, the buttons may have different names or they may be in a different order. You'll also see a variety of buttons up at the top. Here's a link to the Add Menu Item button. This is what you'll use in order to add different buttons to your course menu. There's a separate video showing you how to modify your course menu. There are also buttons that will enable you to view your course menu in different ways. I'll show you that as well in the video on how to modify your course menu. One very important new aspect of Blackboard Learn is this button over here to the right called Edit Mode. If you have Edit Mode on, that means you're viewing the course as an instructor would. If you toggle this to Edit Mode off, you're viewing it the way a student would. You can see that because most of the items on my menu were hidden from students, the only item that I see here now is Announcements. 
when I toggle Edit Mode back on, now I can see all of these hidden buttons. In the video on how to work with your course menu, you'll learn more about how to tell whether or not an item on the menu is hidden or not and how to show it to students. I also want to scroll down a little bit and show you something else that's very important. Your control panel. Only faculty members see the control panel buttons. Notice that they're collapsible and expandable. For example, if I click on the content collection button, it expands. And if I click it again, it collapses. Even if you turn edit mode to off, you will always have access to the control panel options. Take a few minutes to click on some of the options you'll find here. For example, Content Collection. This is the equivalent of what used to be called File Manager in Blackboard Vista. Course Tools gives you access directly to any of the various tools that you can use as an instructor in the course. You can also click on the Evaluation link. This gives you option to various course reports and some new tools in Blackboard Learn. Grade Center is the equivalent of Gradebook in Blackboard Vista. You'll also have access to links related to users in your course and groups, and the customization options enable you to modify some properties that affect the way both you and your students will view and work with the course. The navigation tips that follow are shown in a Blackboard course that already includes organizational elements, such as learning modules, which you will learn to create in other videos, as well as tools such as discussions, etc. This portion of the demo will show you how a student might navigate around an actual course. These tips are shown with edit mode set to off, but they work whether edit mode is set to on or off. If I navigated to a particular page in a course and I want to return to the course entry point, I just have to click on this little right pointing arrow to go back to the course entry page. To hide the course menu, I click this little arrow. To unhide it, I click it again. It's also helpful to check out the various menu display options. For example, right now I'm in List View. I could also click Folder View. By doing this, I can expand or collapse any folder or module in the entire class to navigate directly to any item in the course. If I wished, I could even display the course menu in a different window. But for now, I'm going to return my menu to the List View. Notice these links up at the top of the page. These are referred to as breadcrumbs, and you can use them to navigate the course. For example, if I click the weekly units breadcrumb, it returns me to that page. Another helpful navigation tip, especially if you have a learning module or other type of page open and you don't want to leave that page or module, is to right-click on a menu item to open a new tool. For example, I'm going to open up one of these learning modules, and I see that there's a note here about participating in one of the discussion forums for that week. An easy way to leave this learning module open while navigating to the discussion board is to right-click on the menu item and select Open Link in a new tab. If I click that tab, you can see that I can navigate to any of the discussion forums, but I can also easily navigate right back to the learning module by clicking the original tab where the learning module is still open. Another helpful right-click tip is to right-click on URLs or links to websites. I can right-click on any one of these links, open the link in a new tab, and leave the learning module open, but still navigate directly to the animation that I selected. Here's how to find some just-in-time help resources in Blackboard Learn. If you click the Help link in the upper right part of the window, a new window will open that will take you to our online support center. In the left is a link to the Blackboard Learn Knowledge Base. If you click the Course Delivery link and then select Instructors, you'll see links to a variety of listings for different tools in Blackboard Learn. Each one of these contains links to various how-to articles that answer the most common questions that instructors have. Managing your email and notification settings in Blackboard Learn. Next, I want to quickly show you how to be sure that the email address in Blackboard is correct. To do this, click My Places, and in the My Places dialog box that opens, click Personal Information, then click Edit Personal Information. Take a look at the email address that's shown in the email field. This is the email address that's been imported from Banner. If it's incorrect, go into Banner Faculty Self-Service and change your preferred email address. Here's how. Log into my ComNet and then click the Faculty tab. 
Click the Faculty and Advisors Self-Service link, and if you have more than one college, select the college. Click Personal Information, and then click View Email Addresses. This will show you what email addresses you have in Banner, and it will also show you, show you which one is listed as your preferred email address. If you need to update this preferred email address, which is the one that's exported to Blackboard, click Update Email Addresses. Next, click the email address that you need to change, and then you can modify it in the email field. Don't forget to re-enter the email address, make sure it's selected as your preferred email address, and then click Submit. This will update your preferred email address in Banner, and that will ensure that the correct and up-to-date email address is imported into Blackboard. You can also easily control the kinds of notifications and reminders you get via email or your mobile device by clicking the My Places link. From the My Places dialog box, just select Edit Notification Settings, and then use the various settings that you'll find here to control the types of notifications that you receive from your courses. Now that you've learned some basic navigation and troubleshooting tips, you're ready to begin developing your Blackboard course.